Hi guys, Ronnie here and welcome to the workshop. Today is a day that has been much anticipated. I finally got my new Factor Hanzo time trial frame set. I already have all the components that need to be uh, installed. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown about those and then we'll start with the build itself. Let's start with the wheel set. This is going to be my standard setup from the previous years. So the rear wheel is a head Vanquish RC disc equipped with a Dura-Ace 12 speed cassette and 140 Dura-Ace rotor. I've also installed the new Conti GP 5000 TT tires, which are mounted tubeless. So this is a new thing for me. It's the first time I'm using them. And the front wheel is the Vanquish 8. So the deepest wheel in heads lineup, again, equipped with the GP 5000 TT tubeless tire and 140 MT900 brake rotor together with the Revolver Aeroworks Aero cover. Both wheels are also equipped with ceramic speed coated bearings and they also have a very minimal grease fill for the lowest possible friction. As with most modern time trial bikes, most of the parts that come in the frame are fully integrated and part of the frame set. This is no exception. So we have the Hanzo specific fork with a very wide stance for clean airflow around the wheel and of course the very thin section of the front riser which also uh, splits the airflow in front of the frame creating for a very deep airfall further back. This is of course a through axle fork with a 12mm through axle and a flat mount disc brake standard. Then we have an also very deep profile in the seat post with a one bolt seat post head same as with the Ostro for example and then we have the Hanzo pace bar of course internally routed this clamps on to the fork to the riser part like this so it's a pretty novel idea but it makes for a very small number of the total parts involved as you can see this is a very clean and simple build on top of the riser we have this sliding armrest clamp which holds the armrests and the Hansel specific extensions these are actually uh, flattened as you can see in this section and they offer plenty of adjustment together with this little carrier so tons of options for uh, all width but also stack and reach so hopefully i'll be able to find a good fit and that's pretty much all about the frame set you also get a couple of accessories so you do get a ceramic speed bottom bracket interestingly unlike the ls and the ostro this one is not threaded uh, it's standard bb right so a press fit design and together with that you also get a couple of reducers to fit different cranks you also get a spare uh, derailleur hanger bar tape we're not going to use that and a couple of small bits including the installation hardware front derailleur hanger again not used in this particular build and yeah all the necessary things that you need to build up the frame as for the group set, we're going to use a 12-speed Shimano Dura Ace Di2 group set. This has already been installed on my Cervelo a P5 time trial bike earlier this year. The rear Mac is also equipped with this SLF Motion custom painted rear derailleur cage. It's also the aero version for maximum efficiency. Then the levers. These are standard Dura Ace time trial brake levers. And yeah, we do have the rest of the small parts in here. I'm also going to use a direct mount rear derailleur hanger just as with my other builds and yeah that's pretty much it uh, pretty standard stuff for me so now let's get to the bike build two hours later